Individuals with knowledge of the mystic arts, are often referred to as mystics, sorcerers, witches, or magic practitioners. Doctor Strange of Marvel Universe and Doctor Fate of DC Universe. They are people who have dedicated themselves to the study, and mastery of the supernatural, and possess a deep understanding of the forces that govern the universe. They possess the knowledge of the mystic arts, and are seen as powerful and influential figures, capable of shaping the course of events, and bending the world to their will. We're here to analyze, their powers, abilities and weapons, to find out who would win, if these two characters fight, in a one-on-one -on -one battle. If you like the content, and want to be updated for new contents, just hit subscribe button, and like, to be a member of our clan. Stephen Vincent Strange, is a brilliant but highly egotistical doctor. Despite his reputation for being able to handle even the most complicated surgical procedures, Strange is self-centered and greedy, and only treats patients who can afford to pay his exorbitant fees. One night, while speeding in his car, a terrible accident shatters the bones in his hands, leading to extensive nerve damage. He soon finds that his fingers tremble uncontrollably, rendering him unable to perform surgery. Too vain to accept a teaching job, Strange desperately searches for a way to fix his hands, and subsequently wastes all of his money on expensive, but unsuccessful treatments. Broke and ostracized from his colleagues, Strange becomes a drifter, he happens to overhear two sailors in a bar, discussing a hermit called the Ancient One in the Himalayas, who can heal any ailment. Despite not personally believing in magic, Strange uses the last of his money to track down the aged mystic. The Ancient One, refuses to help Strange due to his arrogance, but senses a good side that he attempts to bring to the surface. He fails, but Strange then commits a heroic act when he discovers the Ancient One's disciple, Baron Mordo, attempting to kill his mentor and usurp his power. When supersonic flight isn't fast enough, Strange also has the ability to teleport across incredibly vast distances. It's a different form of teleportation than fans, normally see in pop culture, and is achieved by Strange's ability to create portals. This ability has been featured heavily in the MCU and it has shown just how valuable of an ability it can be. It is one of the most unusual and prominent abilities, in Doctor Strange's skill set. It allows Strange to separate, his spirit and consciousness from his physical body, at any time. This might not seem like a super useful trick but, it has come in handy on numerous occasions. This is one of the powers Strange possesses, that hasn't been shown as clearly in the movies. The MCU's version of Strange has proven himself, to be a more than capable fighter, with plenty of tricks up his sleeve, but this powerful attack, is one of his best offensive weapons from the comics. As important as the offensive attacks are, Doctor Strange also knows the importance of playing good defense. He can summon energy shields, to protect himself and others from attacks. Viewers often saw this technique used by Strange, as well as the other masters of the mystic arts. Doctor Strange's abilities, to cast spells and summon magic comes from the Vishanti gods, who grant him such power. Being a divine conduit means, Strange can use the crimson bands of Sidorak, mists of Munapur, and other powerful spells. One of the responsibilities of the Sorcerer Supreme, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, was to protect the Time Stone. It was one of six powerful Infinity Stones, Thanos gathered to form the Infinity Gauntlet during Infinity War. The stone was kept within the Eye of Agamotto, and gave Doctor Strange the ability to manipulate time, around an object. Born as Kent Nelson, his life was anything but normal. With his father Sven being an archaeologist, who firmly believed that the pyramids in the Valley of Yore, were built by aliens. He brought his son with him on the expedition. However, in that tomb wasn't aliens but rather the remains of Naboo, the Lord of Order. The Lords of Order, were first created alongside the Lord of Chaos. However, like brothers they fought over millennia, 
with Nabu eventually decided to go to Earth in order to fight the Lord of Chaos, though he was drained during his many battles and resides in that pyramid. Nabu spent years training Kent, allowing him to withstand the effects of wearing the helmet. When Kent and Nabu merged, they became Dr. Fate. Upon returning to America, he would meet Inza Kramer, his wife and later successor. The two helped each other, and eventually Kent would become a superhero, becoming a member of DC's first superhero team, the Justice Society. However, he would eventually die due to aging, and the mantle of Dr. Fate, would be passed to many others. Telekinesis may be most closely associated with Jean Grey or Professor X, but Dr. Fate is also capable of moving things with his mind. Granted, he may not be as powerful as the Phoenix Force or the most powerful mutant mind on planet Earth, but Fate can focus his mind strong enough to affect change in the physical world. This ability is more powerful when the host is wearing the helmet of fate, but is present without it, albeit to a lesser degree. The Lords of Order, are powerful mystic beings, representatives of structure in the cosmos, and sworn enemies of the Lords of Chaos. As one of them, Nabu has tremendous physical strength, which he can share with his human host. For one of DC's preeminent sorcerers, manipulating the elements is as easy as getting the Joker to smile. Dr. Fate, can control and conjure powerful energies, directing them into concussive bolts to subdue opponents. He also can form those energies into flame, ice, or lightning, choosing from amongst them as the situation dictates. Like Superman, Wonder Woman, and Captain Marvel, Dr. Fate is impervious to most forms of projectile attacks, and can deflect everything from bullets to energy bolts. It would take a tremendous amount of force, to phase Dr. Fate, so unless his opponent is a powerful magician, or has access to cosmic energies, his invulnerability will keep him safe. It may not be obvious, but Dr. Fate is a powerful telepath, who has no problem reading just about anyone's mind. Affording him a unique ability to telegraph, his adversary's next moves in battle or interrogate them, without them even knowing, Dr. Fate's telepathy, is unbelievably useful to himself and his allies, in terms of battle tactics and intelligence gathering. If Dr. Fate is one of the DC Universe's most powerful magicians, it logically follows that spell casting would be one of his most powerful abilities. Seeing as how Nabu, the Lord of Order who inhabits the Helmet of Fate, has spent millennia honing his magical skills, the variety and extent of his mystical ability, is vast and near infinite. Now, this fight can go either way, these characters are very powerful, maybe in another universe, 
Doctor Strange can win. I mean. Strange Supreme is no joke. He was able to destroy his entire universe, and stop his for a short time. He was able to eat a galaxy-destroying attack. Infinity Ultron, who is considered the strongest being in the MCU, even said himself that Strange Supreme, was the only reason the Guardians of the Multiverse, weren't dead already. Now Dr. Fate, is no pushover by any means, and considered the strongest sorcerer in DC, and his speed was even able to dodge Superman and Martian Manhunter. He was also a match in power to the Spectre, who is the wrath of God, and is a multiversal being of omnipotence. Dr. Fate has a lot of feats, but these are two very impressive feats, and some of the most popular shown by Dr. Fate, not to mention Dr. Fate's own helmet contains its own universe. Now with all that said, Strange just doesn't have as many feats, as Fate and the ones he does, I think Fate can pull of as well.